during 19th century of Philippine Revolution, an unsung hero, healer, shaman, seer, rebel, and leader of group Babaylan, who freed Negros from Spanish rule, left his mark as the last Filipino revolutionary leader to surrender to Americans. Dionisio Magbuelas, or also known as Papa Isho. Dionisio Seguela, Papa Ibar Lucia. His stories of heroism in Negros Occidental made him use as a manifestation and an inspiration of the whiskey rum, Don Papa. It started in 2011 by Stephen Carroll who came to visit sugar capital of the Philippines, Negros. Carroll was fascinated by the stories of the island that had everything from the world's finest sugarcane, beautiful beaches, mountains, and volcanoes. He thought that Papa Isho's spirit and leadership was perfect fit for the character they want to achieve for the brand. The spirit of independence, irreverence, and sense of justice. It seeks to capture in every bottle of Don Papa rum, as their tagline says, the spirit of Don Papa lives on in us all. From the foothills of Mount Canlaon, the finest sugarcane is milled to produce sweet, rich molasses. After harvest, fermentation, molasses are distilled. It is aged in two kinds of casks, ex-bourbon barrels, proprietary sanded, toasted, and roasted American oak casks. It helps to bring out the fruit and vanilla notes into the wood, brings out natural color, producing dark, intense, and richer rums. It's quite sweet from the honey, 
the element C gives you that extra kick, and you get the after case from the uh, proceeding of the uh, Fast forward 2019, you have the Don Papa Savignano, which is basically so it's still American experiment, as mentioned, but finished in uh, several wine barrels. So two types, Pina uh, de Naranja, which is orange one, and Oloroso Sherry. So, and then you sort of get like hints of orange rind. It's really fruity. It's really smooth, kind of. It's a summery drink. It's sort of like a tribute to the uh, Galleon trade. This shows the story of like the Philippine Acapulco trade like during the, the Spanish era. Just because back then, that entire trade route brought about like different products from uh, Spain to Mexico to the Philippines and vice versa. And specifically in Spain, it would be Seville. So we use Seville orange. The rum is 100% from the Philippines. While the bottle is made from France. The cork is from Portugal. And brand image from Stranger and Stranger Design Firm. Stranger and Stranger is a packaging design and branding company specializing in alcohol drinks since 1994. The strategy the Stranger and Stranger made is a long way from home. They did an exotic twist on the old Spanish landlords and with 50 animals and insects on the labels, they also took few natural history about the local fauna. Aside from the special created bottle and label, Don Papa also have its own canister. Over the past years, Don Papa Rum showcased four art canister editions with more than 150,000 units sold worldwide. Annually, Don Papa invites all Filipino artists to join the Don Papa Art Competition where it is an avenue to up-and-coming Filipino artists to showcase their artistry to a global audience. The contest is open to artists who are currently based in the Philippines and are affiliated with any of the countries, galleries, or museums. This 2019 Mr. Sam Peñaso won the Don Papa Art Competition who made the floor and found a theme artwork which will be the limited edition design of Don Papa canister bottles by this December. For the next few years, Don Papa Company is looking forward for more Filipino artists to join the competition and share Filipino talents globally with the story of Don Papa.